Welcome to this video on a month of mindfulness, a short video series of mono tangles in black and white with the emphasis on here and now with a pen. So just grab your tangling tools and we'll relax and get into this tangle today. Although I want to have a little chat about it before I do it in a slightly different style. So I hope that you will do it alongside me. The tangle I want to cover today is one called Ing. So if we were doing Ing normally, we would start off usually by having a string line that you would work from and you would zigzag your first line over and under that string line just to give you a guide about where your zigzag is going to go. And then I like to start at a point, usually start at the top, and I take my line, next line and I go from the point to sort of halfway down the zag. So if this is my zig, this is my zag. And then I'd start, go to the point below, the angle below, and I take one and I go up the way to go about halfway down the stroke I've just did. And I do that down one side of my ing. From the point, halfway down this line, and from this point, halfway up this line. And if I go from the point here to nothing, I don't have to do anything at all. You have a couple of options now. You can either turn, rotate your tile round, and do the same thing again. But I like to just leave it in the same spot. And this time I'm going to go from this wide angle and down to halfway along this line. And from the angle here, I'm then going to do a line up. From this one, I'm going to do from the point to halfway along this line. And then from the last point, halfway up. And so there is my ing in a straight line. Of course, you can choose to shade it how you like. However, today I'm hoping that you will come with me on my journey as we turn ing into a ring. So grab your tile or your section and choose which one you're going to do. And inside your section, use again a string line. But this time, the string line is going to be in an orb. I've got a little bit of space around and a little bit of space in the middle. And just the same way that we did our zigzag, we're going to do a zigzag around our ring. Doesn't matter which where you start, but just somewhere on this ring, a string ring in pencil, I'm going to zig and zag over the and under the line as I go round my ring. Just take each stroke slowly as you go over each time crossing that pencil line. And you may find as you begin to get back to the middle, I just want to do two points here. So I'm noticing that I've got a point on this, the outside of my ring, and then my inside, my outside, my inside, my outside, my inside, the whole way round. And then I'm going to follow the same way that I would do ing. So there will be a little bit of rotating round. So from my point, and I've got tend to start on the ones on the inside first. So I've got a point here, and I'm going to go from this point to halfway down this line, just as we did when we did our in a straight line. And then from the point below, I'm going to go up to join halfway along that line. I'm going to repeat that again. From the point to halfway down this line. From the point below to halfway up that line. And rotate the tile. From the point halfway down this line. From the point halfway up. Rotate. And I just keep doing this going around my ring on the inside. Sometimes it may be a little bit difficult to see exactly where your point is of your original zigzag. So take, take your time, 
to work it out. And you'll know you've got back to the beginning because suddenly you've got a point with four lines leaving it. So that's the inside. We're now going to move to the outside. And the way I'd just like to do this is exactly the same format. So from a point I'm going to go down with my line to halfway along this line and then I'm going to go up. If you've done it the other way round, because sometimes you'll do things differently to me, if you start at this and go up the way and find that your line is joining at this a line which already has one leaving from it, i.e. this point here, that's in the wrong direction first. If I go this way, you'll see there's no other line finishing or leaving this one. So that way is correct. Once I've done my stroke down, I'll go to the point below and do my stroke up. And again, I will slowly rotate this ring around from the point down to halfway along the line, from the point to halfway along the line. Each time rotating my tile so it's the same repetitive stroke. And you'll suddenly find you've got back to your beginning again and you now have a ring of ing. I'm going to choose to shade a little bit here. I'm just going to choose one end of my triangles that are in the middle and just add a little bit of graphite onto each one. Again, because we're in a ring, it's really easy to just keep rotating the tile, leaving your drawing hand in the same spot. If you're working on a journal or in a page in a book, I know this makes life a little bit more difficult. But just take your time. There's no points for speed tangling here. Switch to your graphite and gently blend your graphite into the paper. With ing, as you have, very angular points with this one. If you want, and your tortillon is just getting a little blunt, always just give it a little push gently from the inside. I use an unfolded paper clip and you've got a beautiful point on your tortillon to just get into those angles again. It's a very gentle tool, so use it gently. If you want, you can always add drama or extra lines to the other triangles in the ing. I'm just going to switch in a few little echo lines along the triangles on the outside here. But you're welcome to do any other technique you want. And so once you have your ring of ing and your chop, sit back and admire. Of course, there are other rings of ing you can do. This one here, I ended up mostly with a square by the time I had finished and where I'd put my dots. But it can also work uneven. You don't have to do something as organised or as regular as that one. If you find that your zigzag is all over the show, you'll end up with something like this. And it's always a little bit of a wonder as to how on earth did you draw that one. But that is the joy of ing. And this, hopefully, is now your joy of ring. <laughs>